what up though YouTube, it's Nerdy Boy Drew, back with another video. Wait a minute. <laughs> what up though humans, it's Nerdy Boy Drew, back with another video. You wouldn't understand, it's a nerdy thing. My style and my swag, yeah, it's a nerdy thing. Bow ties and four eyes, yeah, it's a nerdy thing. My brain goes insane, yeah, it's a nerdy thing. So, today's video, I'm about to do something funny for you real quick. Uh, okay, so... You know, like those posts. You know those posts, like on Instagram or on Snapchat or on Twitter, and it'd be like some, de like it'd be like some dear ex, dear self, dear mom, dear dad, blah blah. blah. You gotta make like a little letter to them. You usually post it like dear this person or dear this, and you usually say like a little short snippet letter. Anyway, except for <laughs> except for posting that on uh, Snapchat or on Instagram or on Twitter or something like that, I'm about to make a video of me doing it. And I thought that would be cool because I don't like texting, I don't like typing. So I thought if I made an actual video of me doing the Dear Mama Blahs and Blue Blues, yeah. <laughs> so let's get to the video. Dear X. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> you had a big impact on my life. Whoa. I don't know which ex I'm gonna talk to. Which ex am I gonna talk to? Oh, shoot. Um, exes. <laughs> all my exes. I feel like y'all all left for a reason. Everybody's gone. Like everything. I think everything happens for a reason. And I feel like you all have had like a big impact on my life and who I am today. Like everybody had their each ex had their own individual impact on me. Some just didn't. Some just had to go. Some just knew they had to leave me. Some I knew I had to leave them. And I just feel like it's in the past. If you wasn't a blessing, you was a lesson, period. <laughs> Dear self, hi Andrew, how are you? You are great. Um, you need to get your hair done. Uh, you look a little rough. But I just wanted to let you know that you have came a long way, especially with yourself and how like you used to be. Like, you have came a long way. And I just want to you up man you find now you blow up you just you you did something you really doing something you and your music man that stuff is fire man <laughs> like you're, you're doing something out here in this world and you're great you know break them stereotypes yeah <laughs> dear mom hi mom uh i love you um you are my first love you are my everything um you are the wind beneath my wings did i say that right i don't think i said that right but uh, you're my wonder woman you are everything um i just want to know i love you um i need you to do my hair and i miss you because it's been a minute since i see you i know you facetime me but it's been a minute since we've seen each other face to face even though it was just like two years ago but uh thank, i just want to also say thank you for everything that you do to me thank you for all your love all your support and thank you for giving birth to me because that's great because if without you i wouldn't be here but uh, I'm getting sappy. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Dear Dad. Uh, hi, Dad. What's up, big guy? How's it going? Um, you are the most weirdest, craziest, funniest guy I know. Uh, you're my father, so you know, I see where I get it from. Uh, I just want to say thank you for everything that you do for me as well, and all the love and support that you give me, especially like how much time and effort you put in to making sure that uh i do music and get make sure i get studio time to make sure that i got like everything that i need to make sure i'm on my grind and my business and getting all the resources that i needed for that and i also want to thank you for all those late night galaxy <laughs> dear crush um man mm, you look as screwy look as scrum dilly um Shit, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious with your fine self. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, you a crush for a reason. Like, I'm not going to tell you who you are. I'm not, you're not going to know. You're just fine, okay? I have a few crushes, though, so that's not even fair. But y'all are fine. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I got Instagram crushes. I got celebrity crushes. Regular crushes. School crushes. Ooh, class crushes. <sighs> Dear school, dear MSU, I just want to say thank you for these past few days because I know we in that wind chill and stuff like that. At first, we was a little skeptical because y'all wasn't closed with school or nothing. But y'all cool with me now. Y'all cool. Y'all closed, closed school. Y'all, we chill. We, we good. We here. We here. 
But um, I just want to say uh, that I love the school, I love the campus, I love the environment. It's really nice here. I'm glad to be a Spartan. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, dear siblings, uh, hi siblings, um, I love my siblings. Even though I don't get to see them all the time and I don't get to hang out with them and be around them, they know that I love them. Anything like I always, I'm always a phone call away, I'm always a text message away. We always actually, we talk like, mostly every day. I see y'all. Snapchat, text message every day. I love y'all with all my heart. And, uh, yeah. Butt faces. I love y'all. So, yeah. Dear past me, past Angel. Um, what I have to say to you is, like, get it together, bro. Like, you was so inside your own head back then. You was, you kind of still are now, but you was so in your head. Like, you used to be so self-conscious about, like, having braces, your glasses, your hair, and stuff like that. Like, if people thought you were a girl, if people thought you were a boy, like, you was, like, you so self-conscious, and you used to just be all so close, all, like, you didn't go to parties, you nothing, you were just so to yourself, and I just want you to know, like, we became this, like, you making music now, you got, you do t-shirts, you do clothing line, you got dreads, you know, your braces gone, you still got glasses, but, you know, you, you still legally blind, but, at least they better realize this, you know. You made it to college, you got friends. Like, you had your ups and downs with certain people that came into your life, but you know, you grew from all of that. And I just want you to let you know, like, yeah, things were bad then, but just know that, I wish I could have told you that this is what you would have been became, and that this is what was coming. So even though times was bad then, like, just know that this is what was coming, that this future and this stuff was gonna be perfect. Dear first love, okay, so, first love, um, my mom is my first love, but I already said dear mom, so I'm not going to use my mom's first love. I'm going to do my actual first love, and that was Joy Wilson. <laughs> hey, Joy. Uh, me and Joy, we go way back, all the way to the Mataki days, sixth grade. And I just want to let you know, I always, I will always love you, and I will always have love for you. And you know how we rocking. We like this. We here. We, we here. <laughs> dear future me, hey. Feature me, look, you look here. You better be great, okay? You better do spectacular, wonderful things. I already know you are because it's us, you know. But I just want you to know you better do some great things and you better be great in this world because you know we not gonna ever we not gonna ever settle for less. And I don't want you to ever settle for less and think that you deserve less and never think that you're not enough, because I know that that's something I still struggle with now and not thinking I'm doing enough or not what I have to bring to the table is never enough. But I want you to know everything you have to say, everything you wanna do, everything you want to act upon is okay. Like don't be doing no stupid stuff, but you know, like listen to yourself. Like actually take what you have to say serious. Okay? Like Okay. Dear best friend, what it is, Kate? Oh, what's up? Hey, but uh, <laughs> Kate Linda Solomon, what should I say? <laughs> so, uh, Kate Linda Solomon is my best friend, like my best friend in the universe of the world. I remember the first day we met, ninth grade year in Mr. Oster's class. She had broke, uh, she had the pencil case that you can lock. And she, I, th I think she either broke it or forgot the combination. And she was sitting there struggling all class. And I was sitting next to her. I'm like, so who's this queer girl trying to struggle with this pencil case? And then I was like, do you need help? And so for the rest of the class, me and her both struggled to get it open. And what made us bond is we got a pair of scissors and pried it open. And like, we was like, yeah, we just felt victory. And we thought that we had, we walked to our next class together. We had lunch together that day. And we've been best friends ever since. Like, I love her today. Like, that's my wrong dog. That's my perfect guy. Like, I love her. Like, to the day I die. Me and her. Period. <laughs> Dear my future child, so Amir King Ferris or Angela Gon Ferris the third, or if it's a daughter, Anaya Simone Ferris, I just wanna let y'all know that. I've been wanting like I've I've wanted children for like I've no well I don't want one now, not now, but since I've been wanting to have a kid, like I've been thinking about having a kid since I was like in high school and I just know that me and you are gonna be so cool and I just can't wait for that feeling to like feel that love from somebody for somebody to look up at me and just see like their hero to see everything that they are mad like they, they like look up to me you know what I mean like they role model like I can't wait to like do matching outfits like take like hang out with you you know just play with you take you to the park like just do stuff and just get 
develop that bond, you know, that unconditional love. Like, I just can't wait. And I want you to know that I love you. And I will always love you. And I'll always be here for you. And just know if you need anything. Got you. Got you. <laughs> Person I hate. I do not hate anyone, but I dislike a few people. And the, the people that I do did. The, some people that uh, a person that I do dislike I guess that I dislike the most I really don't like you and I want you to know that I don't like you like I, I just want you to know like if I saw you on the street and you was like getting mugged I probably would look the other way I wouldn't let you die but like if somebody was just ruffling, ruffling your feathers I would watch like if you stubbed your toe, I wouldn't ask you if you was okay. If you fell down the stairs, I probably would record. Like, that's the, like, that's the, like, I don't hate you, but the dislike is strong. I just want you to let you know that. Like, I ain't even got to say nothing to you. It's the words to be spoken. I just want to let you know. Oh, sight up, down. Mm. <laughs> just look you up and down and keep moving, because I ain't got shit, shit stick to say. Period. <laughs> Sit. Done. Oh, um, dear, a person I love. Well, I love you, <laughs> first of all. The only person I can think of when I uh, hear this person is one person. And all I want to say is that I'm sorry. Like, we had so many up and downs and stuff like that. Like, I've liked you since the moment I saw you. Then I liked you even more when I actually met you. And we've had so many ups and downs since then. Blocking, unfriending, hating each other, coming back, then leaving again. Like, we've had so much ups and downs. Like... You have been such a big impact on my life, and I have so much love for you, and I will continue to always have love for you. And no matter who you, who I start dating or who you start dating, even though you're dating somebody right now, uh, or who comes in between us, I just want you to know, like, nobody can ever replace the love that I have for you, and nobody can ever take that away. And, like, for real, like, we was like Batman and Robin, like you were the potato to my ketchup, <laughs> the pancake to my syrup, like, <laughs> uh, man. Dear ex-best friend, I don't have an ex-best friend, Kaylinda was my first real friend. <laughs> like, low-key, Kaylinda, like, I didn't, I had friends, but like, nobody, I never really hung out with people outside of school, I never really talked to people outside of school, like, once I left school, I went back to reading books and being a loner, but like, Kaylinda was my first real friend that actually ever, like, came to my house, met my family, like, Kaylinda is my real best friend, so, ex-best friend, I don't have one until Kaylinda mess up. <laughs> Dear people who hate me, <laughs> I'm joking, I don't really care, like, I feel like, Everybody has haters and everybody's gonna hate like nobody's ever just gonna be for you and love you 24-7 So honestly if you hate me, you just hate me. Now if I did something, I understand if you hate me If you just hate the hate, then it's something I can do It's on you <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I feel like if you still hate me, but I, even though you hate me I hope you still like listen to my music and you know watch my videos and watch my snaps and like my pictures Just so then hate it because like the support is still support <laughs> so you can hate it while you still watch it. <laughs> Give me the views. Give me the likes. Thanks. Appreciate it. Dear significant other, um, I don't have one. I'm single right now. But I just want to let you know when I get one, it's the O. I'm trying to get one. Or probably like in the summer, I might get one. Because not right now. I'm going to focus on school. But I just want to let you know it's the O. Like, I'm ready to settle down. I'm tired of being single. Like, I feel like in the daytime, it's fine. But at night, you really think about that stuff. And I'm ready to relationship lucky a little bit so you know a little song song you know a little song song <laughs> yeah that's it <laughs> so i just want to say thank you for watching this video make sure you like and subscribe and uh yeah you know follow me on my social medias and you know be blessed stay focused and remember to stay nerdy all right bye i'm about to walk away um, I'm, I'm this way. <laughs>